Right, well, <clears throat> I bet we've all seen adverts like this on eBay. And uh, it's a bit vague. I think it calls it uh, an Astro Spectra T99DX. But what we really want to see is what band it covers and see if it's any use to um, radio amateurs. So uh, I'll just have a quick flip through the pictures. Well, the front looks reasonable. It's a remote mount of some sort. There's the back. I can see that the uh, ancillary connector there looks a bit uh, up the pole, but we'll uh, not worry about that at this stage. It's probably fixable, that. Probably just missing a couple of screws. This is the important picture. It's a trunk mount radio. It's a T at the beginning of the ID. And it's 04, it's P25, that's good. Then it's U. Well, at that point, you should lose interest because that means it's an 800 meg radio. Uh, it's probably been in a police car. There's the U, it means 800 meg. There are other bits of data there that we don't need to go into. And it's had a W9 control head. That's the big remote control head that needs a a long cable so that means it's it's only really useful for spares is that radio what we really need to look for is a radio that's uh, useful to us so I'll show a few uh, options well here's an assortment of uh, Astro Spectras let's just pounce on this chap this is a 25 watt you can tell by the smaller case compared with the 50 watt and the colossal 110 watt. So here we go. Let's have a look at the label on this chap. There we go. Let's have a look. This says it's a dash mount. Well, we can see it isn't. 04 is. P25. K is 146 megs to 173. That's useful. And the control head is a W5. And it would have been connected by a great massive cable that we have there <laughs> uh, to a control head like this. So connected to the 25 pin cable, 17 feet of remoting cable, and then A remote head like that. So if we bought that and it was uh, you got that you could look for a control head and of course you could could get the uh, horrible cable probably all from different places and lots of different bits of postage but there is a way of connecting that front to there. How do we do that? Well, first thing, we remove the, the front and you'll see that it's got pins that locate into the radio to uh, connect the, the, the front panel. So, how do we go about making a Control head like that, mount on that one. First of all, you remove that. And all you're really short of to connect it is a little connecting piece. Within this control, remote control head is a board like that. And that won't do to connect to the radio. Everything's in the wrong place. And this is the genuine article to connect that control head to that radio. And finding them for sale is tricky. Oh, I waited ages and couldn't find any. In the end, I dismantled one of the, uh, head, the pieces that doesn't work. Got a door key from the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. 
which I just happened to walk, forget and walk away with. And I made one up. <laughs> what a job. Later, I found these at, for sale at a uh, ham fest. Little boards that are exactly the right size and you can dismantle these, which is not too easy a job. Remember, we found that within this remote head. Rebuild it to end up looking like that. But you can imagine there's a lot of wiring like we saw on the one that made out of the door key. But that, that's a way around it. Zero cost, but a lot of effort. So that radio is VHF. It needs a remote head, but there's a way around it. So that's the story on that chart. Let's just uh, go back to it. Let's take a look at this 50 watt set. We need to find the label. There we go. What have we got here? It says it's a dash mount, but it's got a remote front on it, so we could get round that possibly. Let's have a look what else we've got to say. It's 04, so it's P25, and it is a very rare, I don't come across them very often, J split radio. So that's about four, uh, about uh, 136 to about 170 megs, something like that. So it, it goes straight on two meters with no fiddling about, but it's a bit rare. And we look along past the KH9, etc. P and W3, so it's, it needs a W3 control head. So this could go on it. As a W3 remote, that that could plug in the front, and if you link pins 20 and 22, it will switch on. Uh, I think I've done another video that uh, talks about how to uh, do a conversion of these. So that sort of head, unless you do some flashing etc., you won't be able to use it with that sort of head. So it's. It's rare in the, so far as it's a J split, which is useful. But the W3 bit restricts it to using a W3 microphone. So uh, there's pluses and minuses on that set. And it's a 50 watter with the extended uh, heat sink on the back compared with. Well, here's the daddy of them all the 110 watt Spectra. Astro Spectra. Yeah, don't be confused by the fact it says Spectra on the front. I think they just uh, didn't bother re-stenciling them as Astro Spectras. Always look at the label. So we'll check the label on this Colossus. And it weighs a ton. <laughs> right. Here's the label. Trunk mount. Well, they're always trunk mount, um, the high power ones. They don't do a... a uh, a dash mount it would probably make the dash fall off. It's a Q split that's uh, 403 megs to 437 ish and it's a W3 so it's looking for that fancy microphone with the buttons on so that's what we've got there and I've seen these radios really cheap I don't think they're very popular because you'd have to spend £30 on a W3 microphone. 